and issues yesterday and today important issues yesterday and today kindly whenever i say new thing note it down in your notebook i'll post the same in the youtube also anke ek fit pettan okay na meer vari okane ona rasko lekapoyina or just listen i'll post it in the youtube YouTube लो पेटेक्स था यूनिंग कल्ला इंडिया हैज इंप्रूव्ड वन पॉइंट वन स्पॉट फ्रॉम 2016 एंड नाउ स्टैंड्स 19 नंबर 19 19 इन द टेप्ट रैंकिंग फॉर न्यूक्लियर uses nuclear technology nuclear use india's rank is 19 in the tapped ranking for the countries with weapons usable nuclear material weapons usable nuclear material india's ranking is 19th there is a us based initiative called nuclear threat initiative nti nuclear threat initiative biennially biennially means year after so for example if it gives in 2016 then it gives in 2018 this is called biennial year after year just dropping a year in between after 2016 now 2018 nuclear threat initiative it sees the complete country's capability of nuclear weapons the usability of nuclear technology to use for nuclear weapons and how safe are nuclear installations how safe are our nuclear installations all these things it will check and it will give a ranking India's ranking is 19th. Who will give this ranking? Tapped rankings. These rankings are called tapped rankings. They were given by Nuclear Threat Initiative, which was based in America. Based in America. Even if you don't get a question directly on this, whenever you are writing an essay on nuclear technology, nuclear issues, you can write about nuclear security, nuclear theft. and theft ranking index all these things theft ranking index all these things the biennial the biennial nti index nuclear threat initiative index finds that the biennial nti index finds that despite these growing risks we are progressively securing our nuclear materials we are securing so india's ranking is 19th remember this this is a important current affairs and next thing is there is a upgraded version of apsara apsara is a barks reactor what is bark baba atomic research center it is located in trombe it is located in trombe apsara is indigenously manufactured it was a dream of homi baba it was a dream of homi baba in 2009 apsara was decommissioned in 2009 apsara was decommissioned decommission chese sir again upgraded version of apsara was decommissioned recently upgraded version of apsara Apsara was the first nuclear reactor in Asia. Apsara was the first nuclear reactor, almost swimming pool prototype reactor, very small reactor, very small reactor with maximum power output of 1 megawatt thermal. With maximum power output of 
वन मेगावाट थर्मल सो अपग्रेडेड वर्षन ऑफ अप्सरा हेज बी रीकमीशन नाउ अप्सरा इज द फर्स्ट रियाक्टर इन एशिया नॉट ओन इंडिया बट इन एशिया इट हेज बिकम ऑपरेशन इन बार ट्रॉम्बे कैंपस इन आगस्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स इट वॉज इंडिजिनियनुफैक्चर द ड्रीम ऑफ होमी बाबा इट इज इंडिजिनियसली मैनुफैक्चर एंड इट्स द ड्रीम ऑफ होमी बाबा अप्सरा वॉज द फर्स्ट लाइट वाटर मॉडरेटेड रियाक्टर सो स्विमिंग पूल टाइप रियाक्टर वेरी लाइट वाटर मॉडरेटेड रियाक्टर स्विमिंग पूल टाइप रियाक्टर विथ मैक्सिमम आउटपुट ऑफ वन मेगावाट थर्मल सो नाउ इट्स अप्सरा जवाहरलाल नेहरू ड्रेम टेबोट इट ही हेज अ विजन ओवर इट एंड इट वॉज अ ब्रेन चैल ऑफ होमी बाबा बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू लीव दिस अप्सरा सो वी हेव रीकमीशन डिट so it was decommissioned in 2009 again recommissioned it in a upgraded version upgraded version of apsara got recommissioned remember apsara is the first nuclear reactor in india and in the asia first nuclear reactor in india this is apsara and uh, coming to india africa relations india africa relations here i wish to tell you a small historical background apj abdul kalam apj abdul kalam as a president of india visited africa as a president of india visited africa apj abdul kalam he has moved he got moved by the plight of africans particularly in poor countries in africa he thought in a new idea as you all know he was a modern man missile man and a scientist if you develop two areas if you develop two areas africa's problems can be solved the two areas are education and health the two areas are education and health if you can actually develop these two areas africa will be at least it will will get advancement so he has given an idea called pan african e network he has given an idea called pan african e network pan african e network means connecting indian universities indian hospitals with african universities and hospitals schools and colleges also so electronically digitally for example in africa there is a patient she came to african primary health care and they they will tell the symptoms from indian side doctor will give some diagnosis doctor will try to give some medicines all those things in the same way education also in the same way education also pan african e network is a brain child of apj abdul kalam it was started now based on this government of india started two beautiful programs e vidya bharati e aarogya bharati two beautiful programs called e vidya bharati e aarogya bharati india is going to launch new digital di bridge india is going to launch a new digital bridge between india and africa e vidya bharati e aarogya bharati and uh, helping someone in education and health is the greatest thing so uh, india is going to help africa already started helping and is going to start like a good scheme scheme more e vidya bharati e aarogya bharati you may get a prelims question e vidya bharati e aarogya bharati are the schemes relating to india's pan african e network digital bridge to africa okay it's a good thing right e vidya bharati e aarogya bharati remember this next important question again in the current affairs in the prelims perspective what is exercise nomadic elephant nomadic elephant n o m a d i c exercise nomadic elephant see mongolia there is a country called mongolia the capital of mongolia is ulan bator ulan 
number two. There was a country called Mongolia. Can you locate it, Mongolia? Can you locate it? On the top of China, next to below Russia. Mongolia, there is a country. Can you name the great hero in Mongolia? Chengiz Khan. Chengiz Khan. There are many stories relating to Chengiz Khan. Okay, read about Chengiz Khan. Very famous hero in Mongolia. And coming back, the military exercise nomadic elephant. Mongolia is considered as a very, you know, remote place, right? Backward place. Nomadic. Nomadic means backward, right? Nomadic means something different, but remember like backward. Nomadic elephant is the military exercise between India and Mongolia. Is the military exercise between India and Mongolia. It's a 13th, 13th India Mongolia joint exercise. 13th India Mongolia joint exercise held in Ulan Batur, Mongolia. 13th held in Ulan Batur, Mongolia. Next important thing, as you all know, day before yesterday we have discussed also the word Dalit. The government of India asked all the state governments and government officials not to use Dalit in official communication. Not to use the word Dalit in official communication. It's a good move, but somebody is objecting, people are objecting, why don't you call and identify themselves as Dalit? That's a different issue. Okay? The government of India asked the state governments and government officials not to use the word Dalit. Coming to today's editorial today's editorial see first listen securities and exchange board of india have issued a circular in april 2018 securities and exchange board of india have issued a circular in april 2018 Restricting the foreign portfolio investments, FPIs, majorly owned by NRIs, PIOs, majorly owned by NRIs, PIOs. Now, there are many objections on this. SEBI issued a circular restricting NRIs and PIOs from being fund managers or owners in India focused overseas investment companies. See, you are NRI, you are a PIO, you are in some other country. You owned some in complete investment more, the company which is investing in India. SEBI issued restrictions on that. So there might be binamis and other chances. A company majorly owned by NRIs are PO, PIOs. NRIs are PIOs. NRI means non-resident Indian. PIO means person of Indian origin. NRIs are PIOs. Will not be allowed. Will not be allowed to invest on foreign portfolio investor in the country. In the country. SEBI said by December this year, such funds should be scrapped or restructured. Such company should be scrapped or restructured. This is the story. It should be scrapped or restructured. So, now AMRI, A -M -R -I, Asset Managers Round Table of India, gave complaint to, gave complaint on this to the Prime Minister. AMRI, A -M -R -I, Asset Managers Round Table of India gave complaint so investments in india will come down all these things so now on this issue a committee was constituted hr khan committee hr khan committee was constituted to study about sebi regulations hr khan committee so you may get a prelims question hr khan committee recently constituted for what sebi so first you should understand SEBI regulations made of a committee is other than Peru, HR Khan. Okay. Foreign investors in the Indian market regularly sees unusual twists, unexpected twists. In Indian market, you will be seeing unexpected twists. And now, 
the unexpected twist is sebi regulated this sebi restricted the companies which are majorly owned by pios and nris should not invest in india the amri asset managers round table of india warned that india's stock markets will get affected by this india's stock markets will get affected by this around 75 billion dollar investment will get affected already got affected 75 billion dollar with this regulation 75 billion dollar investment will get neglected initially sebi told amri's complaint is irresponsible but now sebi is also realizing it constituted a committee khan committee khan committee just we'll see how it's going to give its results let us wait and see and uh, you all know rupee is becoming weak day by day almost 73 and people are predicting that rupee is going to depreciate up to 75 per dollar up to 75 by dollar roj roj every day rupee value is getting decreased every day rupee value is going to get decreased and uh, experts are predicting that it may go up to 75 per dollar now it's a tough time for stock markets tough time for many importers because when you want to import something you have to pay more rupees if you want to import something you have to pay more rupees if you want to purchase something you have to pay more rupees so let's study how things are moving on you also keep watching on this how rupee is getting depreciated and what type of effects rupee is seeing all these things okay and uh, in yesterday's day before yesterday's news i think you know us open win winner naoma osaka naomi osaka n a o m i o s a k a from japan she defeated serena williams new star is born she defeated serena williams and new star is born just remember that coming back if you see yesterday's newspaper if you see yesterday's newspaper the article on rajiv gandhi uh, atal bihari vajpayee this is an article on atal bihari vajpayee the one who reached out china the one who reached out china see whose name initially i told now rajiv gandhi suddenly my tongue have slipped and i am speaking about again i have seen the heading and i have changed my word atal bihari vajpayee okay uh, we can say Atal Bihari Vajpayee was a statesman and who took good interest in foreign affairs, particularly in rebuilding our ties with many countries and reorienting our ties with Pakistan. Okay, coming to China, I don't completely support with other. Okay, it was Rajiv Gandhi who made his first visit after two decades of more than two and a half decades of deadlock between India and China. It is Rajiv Gandhi who broke the ice. Though Atal Bihari, Bihari Vajpayee's foreign policy is much more wider, much more longer than Rajiv Gandhi in many respects. In this respect with China, we can say it was Rajiv Gandhi who broke the ice between India and China. The article says, greatness about Atal Bihari Vajpayee, you all know. Atal Bihari Vajpayee was a statesman. He has reoriented ties with Pakistan, dialogue, Agra summit, cricket diplomacy, bus diplomacy. And even with China, he has thought that unless we have very good relations with China, India can never be a prosperous country. All these things we can agree. And recently we, are, we have become member in SCO, all these things. But the person who opened up ties with China was Raju Gandhi. Coming back. In yesterday's newspaper, you have Naomi Osaka, beautiful article. And uh, there is an article. Tamil Nadu government wants all seven convicts in Raju Gandhi assassination case to get released. All seven convicts. And uh, Article 72, pardoning powers of the Supreme Court, pardoning powers of the President, 
Article 161, pardoning powers of the governor. Now, Article 161, the pardoning powers of the governor is in use. The pardoning powers of the governor is in use. But the central government is not willing to do that. Central government is not willing to do that. Let us see what will be its impact on the society. Let us see what will be its impact on the society. So let's think and see. And much more to do in Kerala. You know Kerala got worst affected by the floods. We have to do a lot in Kerala. And today's most important news, two things we have to discuss. Thing number one is, thing number one, small loans could turn bad. Raghuram Rajan, first page. Small loans could turn bad. Raghuram Rajan. Small loans could turn bad. Raghuram Rajan. Raghuram Rajan, you all know, worked in World Bank, former RBI governor. He gave a report. Earlier, the non-performing assets bad loans. You, you know what is a bad loan? The loan which is not repaid, which has to be repaid but not repaid. Is called a bad loan. Raghuram Rajan is cautioning that the bad loans now, generally we can think that big loans are bad loans. Yes, that's right. That's right. The loans which are in huge amounts are generally become bad loans. Now, small loans could turn bad. Small loans could turn bad. Chinni chinni runal goda, tiriki challenge like pooch wallu. Small loans could turn bad. Here, particularly emphasized on mudra loans. We have Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, Micro Units Development and Refinance Agency. Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana for micro, small, medium. Sisho Kishore Tarun. In Mudra, there are three. Sisho, Kishore, Tarun. In that, more than 6 lakhs. 6.37 lakh crores loans were dispersed. More than 6.37 lakh crores were dispersed according to official estimate. And now he is telling they may become NPAs. They might become NPAs. Non-performing assets. Government should refrain from loan waivers. No loan waivers. Government should refrain from loan waivers and ambitious targets. And ambitious targets. The loans which are given through Mudra, the loans which are given through Krishan credit card, all these things might end up by becoming bad loans. Why? Why they may become bad loans? Overestimation, inflation, inflated targets. See, today you invest 100 rupees in business. So, the target should be the growth of 1%. You cannot think the growth of 50% or 60%. So, in ambitious targets and growth slow down. Overall growth have slow down. Delay in approvals. For all, everything to do to expand or to get some approval, there is a lot of delay. And uh, generally, when there is an undue delay, people will lose interest. When there is an undue delay, people will lose interest and banking frauds and malfeasance malfeasance means with a bad interest with a bad intention that's called malfeasance all these things are the reasons for the bad loans all these things are the reasons for the bad loans and there's one more important interesting article the world is moving towards right the world is moving towards right political parties rightist rightist and the recent example was Sweden. The recent example was Sweden. The world is moving towards rightist political parties. And the recent example was Sweden. In almost all the countries, Argentina, Austria, uh, Britain, in almost all the countries, conservative and rightist parties are winning. Coming to Trump, rightist. America is for Americans. No immigrants. In, even in Sweden, those political parties which aspired for anti-immigration policy won the elections won the elections not with absolute majority but they got good number of voting 
So neo Nazis, neo Nazi movement, new trend is coming up in the world. What is Hitler Nazi? Only Germans are great, German race is superior. So new trends are coming up, neo Nazi movements, all these things. Think it over. Okay, these are the important current affairs from yesterday and today. Okay.